Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd habita fillah I just wanted to provide a brief update about the Al-Athari Institute project and first as is the son of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I would like to say thank you and jazakumallah khairan to those who have contributed and for those who have the intention to contribute and those who have supplicated to Allah azza wa jal that this project would be fruitful and positive and it came in a hadith an Usama ibn Zayd radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man suni'a ilayhi ma'ruf faqala li fa'ilihi jazakallah khayran faqad ablaga fi thana ruwahu tirmidhi wa qala hadith hasan sahih in this hadith, the hadith of Usama ibn Zayd radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever does uh, something which is ma'roof, something which is good. And ma'roof we talked about in our study of Bulugha Maram, the book of manners, that ma'roof that it is, it covers uh, anything which is good and pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that that is ma'roof, and that can do with manners, and that can do with g good actions and deeds, that can do with, that can be uh, sadaqah, it can be doing all those things which are considered righteous by Allah and in accordance with the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa la alayhi wa sallam. And so in this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that whoever uh, does an act of, uh, does for someone an act of righteousness or good, and then he says to the one who did this action, who did this act of kindness or goodness, Jazakallah khairan, may Allah reward you with good, then he has given him the best form of praise. And so in this hadith in uh, Tirmidhi, we see the importance and the encouragement, of course, to do righteous deeds, to do good, to do good from its various ways. And that's why I wanted to say Jazakallah Khairan to those who contributed and those who supplicated for the success of this project. And Another benefit that we find from this hadith is that the jaza or the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the is the best of rewards. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his reward to Barakah Ta'ala is the best. And he suffices us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we see that by saying Jazakallah Khairan, may Allah reward you. What kind of reward are we asking for? We're saying, may Allah reward you with good. And so this is why I wanted to say thank you to those who have supported the project that we're trying to uh, put forward and build. As far as an update, I wanted to update that although the contributions, they have been immense and meaningful, and a great ni'mah min ni'amillah and may Allah bless and reward and increase those who contributed immensely from his bounties. But however, at this stage, in accordance with the amount that we need in order to really begin the project, we haven't uh, achieved uh, that much. And so with that being the case, We'll keep striving. It just means that the project will take a lot longer time to get off the ground. And m myself, I prefer not to ask. I have never been one to want to ask. So I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens up a way and a means for me to find 
uh, to come across the wealth or through business or something and be able to finance it myself uh, and, and go forward and build because I want to use this project as a means to really teach and really get in my books and spend time doing research because as I said this YouTube channel I use as a means to share what I have learned over the years and with that being the case my time is very limited I don't have time and the luxury to be able to go into the books and do research and to produce things and to produce uh, quality research that can uh, be of benefit to the Ummah bi'idhnillah ta'ala and be of assistance to help people better themselves and encourage them to go much further. But at the same time, we're going to continue and we're going to continue to go forward and use our free time to the best of our ability to make da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah accept it and forgive us of our many shortcomings. And so I wanted to, and I felt the need to update where the project is going now and the money that has been raised, which is only a fraction of what we, uh, what we need really to start. That money will go to purchasing the physical uh, building, which will be a, uh, probably a container, a container in which the books the mektaba will be stored, so that way I'll be able to have a mek my mektaba here. I'll be able to set it up, and uh, you know, and then I I need to do all the modifications, make it uh, you know livable, or make it uh, to where it is safe, and uh, that we can get it up to par, so that way it will be an actual institute to where I can film and produce. Uh, quality uh, videos uh, calling to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all the other aspects of the project and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with success in this project and to be able to go forward and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala protect us and protect us from the harm of those who wish harm upon the good of what we do and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and bless all of those who contributed, even if it was as simple as supplicating to Allah for its success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward those people immensely and with bounties they could never imagine. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And in the, uh, the bottom of the video, and I hope to put it in a link, I will also put a PayPal account as well as the GoFundMe page. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam ala Muhammad.